Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Water Talks. Today I'm going to very briefly introduce one of my papers entitled Performance of the General Circulation Models in Simulating Temperature and Precipitation over Iran. As you will know, general circulation models or global climate models or GCMs are the most advanced tools for simulating the trend and variability of the Earth's climate. However, GCMs are models and like any model, they provide just a simplified representation of the real world, right? So the performance of all models, including GCMs, of course, should be evaluated somehow to see how well they can represent the observed conditions before using the models for predicting or projecting future conditions. This is basically what we've done with GCMs in this research. This paper was published online in 2018 by Theoretical and Applied Climatology, which is a renowned journal. And in my opinion, this can be viewed as a comparatively comprehensive performance evaluation study. It evaluates or analyzes 37 GCMs regarding the simulation of two important hydroclimatic variables, temperature and precipitation, with respect to the climatic research unit or crew data set, based on seven different performance criteria at two timescales, seasonal and annual. It's also noteworthy that the study area has a super diverse climate and very complex topography and therefore it's quite challenging for GCMs to reasonably represent the climate of the region. So let's have a look at the paper and see what's in it. I'll jump right to the results and discussion section. Oops right here. Well, figure one shows that the statistical properties of annual temperature are very well presented by the majority of GCMs. For instance, if we focus on the nash sotcliffe efficiency coefficient, denoted by NSE here, we'd see that all GCMs, except for one, have positive NSE values suggesting satisfactory performance. On the other hand, let me show you figure where is it? Here, figure 5. Many GCMs have negative NSE values in simulating annual precipitation, indicating that precipitation generation mechanism is so complex that GCMs cannot adequately preserve the statistical properties of precipitation. I should also mention that climate models show diverging performance such that some of them show large positive biases while some others show negative biases and this can suggest climate modeling is associated with very large uncertainties especially regarding precipitation. Another notable result which can be inferred from the Taylor diagram is that climate models or GCMs from the same climate modeling group show pretty much similar performance as they lie close to each other on the diagram. So it may not be logical to include multiple models from the same modeling group in climate change impact assessment studies. Now I'd like to invite you to explore the paper for more information and contact me to discuss any part of it. Many thanks for watching. Moe Basian here. I'll see you in the next video.